Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We just got into Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, we are here at the Orleans Hotel. We are. It is a Tuesday, and it's actually kind of busy here. Mm -hmm. Off strip and kind of shot. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're going to be here all week. We are. Yeah, yeah, and I think Leslie's gonna make an appearance she is. this week. Yep, she's gonna be here as well with us. Uh, we are busy for the rest of the month, so this is our only time we can get over here to You're right. Vegas. So right. it's gonna be a while after this trip. Yeah, but we have a lot of stuff uh, planned to film, so I think we're gonna be good. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun stuff. And we got a lot of requests for a room tour here at the Orleans. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give you a quick room tour right after this. Yes. And we're staying here because we got comp rooms. Yes. So people are asking, do they still comp rooms? Yes, they do still comp rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to play with your players card and they still comp your room. Okay, let's go check it out. Let's go. Check out our standard two queen room here at the Orleans. Got a couple beds here, mirror against the wall. On this side is our TV. A little working desk. Uh, we have a nice couch and the uh, sitting chair. Now check out the, uh, the bathroom here. Everything you need. Big closet. Yeah, and check out the uh, the shower. And it has a window. Yeah, it does. Shower. I like opening that when yeah. I'm in the shower. Mm -hmm. And the cold. view. Yeah. See if you can see yeah, it. We're kind of high up, so uh, we could kind of see the uh, Rio way in the distance. Yeah, you can sort of kind of see it. Yeah. But here we are. This is it. This is the Orleans. It's um, standard. Nice and, yeah, too clean. standard. It's nice and clean. Mm -hmm. And uh, we stayed here before, and uh, it's it's always a, a nice day here at the Orleans. So for dinner, by popular demand, we're going to get some oxtail soup. We have to. Yes. yes. I'm kind of in the mood for a club sandwich. I'm going to see if they have that on the menu. Mm -hmm. And uh, another special that they have here? Yeah, um, they have butterfish. So I'm going to try out the butterfish. I haven't had it in such a long time. Yeah, so we're going to try those three out here at the Market Street Cafe yep. at the California yep. Hotel. And we're going to share the oxtail soup. Yes, yep. I want to taste some. Okay, then. We really came here for the oxtail, but we, I got the butterfish too because we're going to share the oxtail. This is the butterfish. I am a sucker for fish. So let's see how this is. Good big two pieces of fish here. Look at that, it's very meaty looking. The glaze is a little sweet. Uh, kind of like a cherry glaze on this. And this fish is really good. It's gonna go good with my white rice. I was in the mood for a club sandwich. This is a California club. Pretty good size, look at that. Comes with french fries. Look at that, nice turkey, uh, bacon, and nice fresh lettuce and tomato. This is really good. What I like is they don't toast, the toast too crispy. So it doesn't scratch to like the roof of your mouth or anything. Uh, nice, good turkey, very cold and fresh. I mean, just fresh tasting with the lettuce and tomato. And you gotta love that crispy bacon. That just brings it all together. Yeah, this is a very good California club. Okay. Finally here for the oxtail soup. Now we're gonna be sharing this oxtail soup. Let's try this out. Good base to it. Good beefy base to it. Yeah, it needs a little bit of salt though. Um, oxtail, it is a hit or a miss. Um, lately we've been coming, it's been pretty good. So let's try as this far one as out. Like yeah, and stuff. let's try this out. Mm. Super tender, really flavorful. I think here's the ginger, which we should add in. That I think. I think I need my hot mustard for this though. I asked for some hot mustard and it's gonna be perfect. This is a really good soup. So today it's definitely a, a hit for this soup. Good morning. Good morning. We're gonna try the new uh, breakfast place off the strip. Mm -hmm. It has probably the most uh, Yelp reviews I've seen, over 4,000. Mm -hmm. And it, what's it, four and a half stars? Yeah, four and a half stars. It's called the Egg and Eye. Yeah. Right here. 
Uh, what street is it on? Uh, Sahara. Yeah, it's on Sahara. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go inside and try it out. When you check in on Yelp, you get a free banana nut muffin, which they make here. Um, some breakfasts come with it, some, some don't. So if yours doesn't, check in on Yelp. So this muffin is warm. Take off that little portion of it on top. Oh yeah, it's really warm. You can feel the crispiness in this edge right here. I'm gonna put in a little bit of butter. There you go. Let's have this first. Mm -hmm. This edge is really crispy. The banana really comes through on this muffin. What is this? An excellent banana nut muffin. I thought it was going to be humongous. It's going to be perfect. I ordered the blackened ribeye eggs benedict. They call it the Benny. Check that out. What's unique about this is it's not on an English muffin, but it's on a grilled croissant with their homemade potatoes right here. Oh, look at that. That was a bunny shot right there. Nice Rennie yolk. You can see the prime rib right there. Okay. The prime rib is nice and tender. Seasoned very well. Almost to the point where it's just a little bit on the saltier side. I find a good piece of the spinach as long as it, along with the croissant right here. So I'm gonna try that out. There's a croissant right there. It's a big bite though. That's what it needed. The croissant to balance out a little bit of the saltiness of the prime rib. Now it's very well balanced when you get all three components all in one bite. I got the center cut New York strip and eggs. My eggs are nice and over easy. Here we go. The seasoning really comes out. It's a little bit black, and, which is really nice. You can tell that's a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, this right here, this fat right here, it's very juicy, even though I got it as a medium and it's thinly sliced. It's a very juicy center cut. I get this again. It's really good. Come on, Royal. Okay. Let's see. Do it, babe. Do it. Let's see. Oh, nothing rarely at all. So now what? Let's see if we can get it straight. Here we go. I need a four or, an, or a nine. Four or nine. Oh. Oh, well. Orleans are known for their bowling alleys because they have tons of tournaments here. 52 lane bowling alley, uh, 375 for games, 425 or something like that, something around there for shoe rentals. But if you stay at the hotel, they give you so many coupons and this is one of them. It's like a bogo. Mm -hmm. So if you stay at the Orleans, they give you perks. Century Theater. Also in New Orleans, on the other side of where the bowling alley is, they have a giant movie theater here. These are all the movies that you can come and see. All these different movies for right now. Nothing we want to see though. Mostly older movies yeah. are something. Huh? Yeah. I was hoping they would show something like Back to the Future because I haven't seen that on the big screen. And so I was hoping something like that in the older movie, but nothing. When we checked in, you couldn't really see our view because you only saw the reflection of us, but this is actually our view from our window. Kind of cool, it's the, the strip. It looks kind of uh, gloomy out there. Yeah, huh? it looks like rain. But yeah, you can see the, the wind, Caesars, and a little bit of the link. Pretty cool. We have a special lunch today. Yeah, it's a little bit windy and it's starting to sprinkle. Yes, we are here at Crunchy's Korean Hot Dog. Yeah, it's a big thing for a lot of cities around the country. 
I, I think it's gaining steam in Los Angeles, but just so happened they have one here in Vegas. Yes, I, I guess the concept started from Korea, mm -hmm. which is like a Korean style corn dog. Yes. So we ordered two different kinds and uh, we'll see how it is. Try it out. I'm gonna have a number three. Number three, what about the potato? Cheese, mustard, you just have ketchup? In car review. Yep, it is rainy and windy outside, so we thought we'd do an in car review. This is the only one that we can find the Korean hot dog that's here in Vegas. This is the cheddar and sausage dog. Looks really nice and crunchy. I believe it's like panko crusted. And we had them roll it in sugar. And they have all these different sauces. And so we got the sauce number three, which was the which one was that? Maybe uh, ketchup and, uh, honey, and mustard. honey mustard. So here we go. Again, this is the cheddar and sausage. Let's try this out. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's crunchies. Crunchy. Mm, that's good. That cheddar. First bite. I don't know, the crunchiness is the cheddar. That cheddar is really good. It matches the sauces. The sausage for me, I think because I took a little bite of the sausage. It's a very light tasting sausage. It has the sugar with the sweet tart of the mustard. Gets your, those back glands of your mouth, you know, really watering. I know you guys know what I mean with that. It may look weird or sound weird, but this is actually very good. And it's just, they just opened maybe like 30 minutes ago, and it's a very steady line going in there. The sausage, it tastes like a regular hot dog. The breading is very light as opposed to a corn dog. Although the corn dog has that really good corn chew. This breading is really light where you, you can... You have the crunchness of the breading, but you don't really taste too much of the breading. You taste that cheddar cheese. That sausage really comes out, which really tastes like a hot dog. The sugar is the sweet. It's not too sweet, but it's the sweet part of it. And that tang from that mustard. You got to try this. This is really good. You can see why it's so popular yeah, here then. Yeah, you can see why it's popular. So the other one we got is the mozzarella and potato. This thing looks gnarly. They put rolls of, I guess, little cubed up potatoes, deep fried on that corn dog. And this is, well, actually, this is no corn dog. This is all mozzarella. So it's like a mozz uh, stick. A cheese stick. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we put regular ketchup on it. Same breading yeah. as the regular one. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> that pull baby definitely mozzarella well you know to be honest I thought this was just going to be average because it's just what mozzarella and potatoes right but it is really delicious it kind of tastes like french fries that are pasted on top of this thing that's what it tastes like little, little french fries or Cube fries. Those are some very good Korean hot dogs. Uh, we definitely recommend trying those out. So now uh, we're just gonna go drive around and we do have some pretty good dinner plans for later tonight. We do. All right, if anybody's wondering, on the Audi A3 virtual cockpit, all of the features, all of the Eiffel Towers and hotel buildings, it all shows up. Probably on the A4 and up too, but that's pretty cool.
We made it to the circus suckers for dinner. We did, we did. It's interesting. I had thought this it's this uh, casino would be like a little run down or nothing or something like that. It's actually really nice. So you walk through it, it's a little bit dated, but the bathrooms are completely updated and mm -hmm. everything like that. Yeah, we see people it, cleaning a lot over yeah. here. Um the aisleways are very wide. So after we eat, we're gonna go walk around a little. Yes, uh, we have dinner reservations right behind us at yes. the steakhouse. Mm -hmm. Comes highly recommended from a lot of our viewers so yeah. here we are finally trying it out finally yes let's did go baby did they get your beef on again you know it Once we sat down, we got some bread. Looks really good. Maybe it's like a little French roll. Oh, it's warm. So this is a French roll and the little pretzel, the little pretzel rolls. Mm -hmm. Nice and warm. Crunch. Do you see, hear that? Break this open. Oh yeah. I hear the butter calling to be on this bread. It's gonna be good. So the steak comes with a garden salad or uh, yeah, like a black bean soup. So I opted for the regular house salad with ranch. And look at that. Give a little taste test. Mm, nice croutons. Very crispy. No, they're just croutons, but these are probably one of the best croutons I've had. So light and crispy and seasoned well. Oh of course, the salad is nice and crispy. <laughs> I know this is extremely hot, so I'm going to try it out so I don't want to burn my tongue. Let's try. Oh, yeah, that's hot. But that soup is good, so I'm gonna wait till it cools off a bit. The meal comes with a super salad, but I wanted to upgrade it. You can either upgrade it to a specialty salad or the French onion soup. You know, I'm a sucker for French onion soup. That's hot, but the onion, you can taste the onion is caramelized, which is really good. The cheese is very stretchy. Really good cheese in here. And those croutons, I believe, or the bread, they believe is the same season as they do the croutons for the salad. So, good, French onion soup. Good for the upgrade. Six bucks, not bad. I got the porterhouse. What the porterhouse is, is the filet on one side and a New York strip on the other. So, this looks so good. Let's go ahead, dig into this right here. So tender, hardly any any working of this knife right here for to cut this and this first bite is actually for Matthew and say hi to Matthew because you're the one that sold me on this porterhouse let's try this out this is your bite Matthew mm. very tender tasting doesn't need anything at all with this. It's a good cut. Thank you, Matthew. I opted for the bone and ribeye, cooked medium. Look at this, this is a thing of beauty right here. Nice grill on it, it looks so moist. I'm gonna cut into it now. Here we go. I ordered some peppercorn sauce on the side, but let's try it without the sauce. That was excellent. You could tell that this was dry aged 21 days and you could definitely taste it. It's very beefy, very meaty, and super tender. That amount of fat that's mixed with the ribeye, that's it. And here's a peppercorn sauce they brought out. Just give this a little dip. That just elevates it right there. That's really good. It's warm, has that nice, rich peppercorn gravy type of flavor to it. Very decadent. I like that peppercorn. 
recommend it. I'm gonna try the New York strip side of this porterhouse. Mm. Very good. Perfect char on this steak. Perfectly cooked. That is a medium right there. I'm gonna try with the peppercorn. It doesn't need the sauce at all, but it does elevate it another level with that sauce. And today, the chef's veggie is asparagus. Mm, very fresh. A little bit crunchy. Really good al dente asparagus. Really good meal. Given choice of the rice peel off uh, garlic mash or the baked potato. I got the baked potato. They give you all the sides on the on the side, so let's try this out. Nice and fluffy. Oh yeah, here we go. Mm. Very fluffy. I'm a I'm a fan of baked potatoes. So when they offer you bacon bits with it, take it. Very good. I got the rice pilaf and has really good pieces of mushroom. But this rice pilaf reminds me is the wild rice that you get in Minnesota. It's really good. It has good pieces of mushroom, celery, carrot. It's a really good rice pilaf. Mm -hmm. This is what Leslie got. She got the chocolate mousse. So you can see here it looks so decadent right there it's the perfect bite right here let's try this out mm -hmm. mm. really good wow it is very chocolatey it's not extremely sweet so i believe the cake is sweet but the mousse and everything like that is not sweet so it really bounces well with each other and with a cup of coffee this is a really good dessert my dessert i got the junior's cheesecake with strawberry they said it's flown in from new york now if you watch some of our older vlogs We've been to Junior's in New York in Times Square, and I liked it. So I just want to see how it compares. Yep, here it is. It's Junior's all the way. It does not taste like it was frozen and then thawed out. It's fresh all the way. You can tell how creamy that cheesecake is. This is spot on New York City cheesecake. Yeah. Uh, you know me, I'm a sucker for creme brulee. Now uh, the crust. Yeah, you always get creme brulee. I babe. always get creme brulee. Now the crust is not crunchy, it's soft, but it's all about the taste. Still not sugar top. That's it. That's the creme brulee I've been looking for all my life. What? This is a really good one. Doesn't need that that little sugary crunch on that top. This is extra creamy. Has a really good taste of vanilla in there. You can see how creamy that cream that custard is. How is it compared to uh, Vic and Anthony's you had just a couple weeks Better. ago? What? Well, let me think. Better. Wow. It has something in there. I can't place my finger on it, but I have a whole, a whole dish to figure out what that other one is. Maybe it's love. It could be love. Okay, we're gonna close off this part of our Las Vegas uh, 
Danielle? Adventure. Yeah, it's more of an adventure. Yeah, we went this all was over a, the place. This was the perfect capper to end this night was at the, uh, at the steakhouse here yes. at Circus Circus. Excellent, excellent food. I would say this is probably the top play, the top steakhouse I've been here on the Strip. Yeah. Yes. You know what? It's it's really all around. Yes. From the uh, from the salad soups mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the entree to the desserts, mm -hmm. all around. All great around. Meal. Our servers were Shay and Fred. Yes. Very excellent, good. excellent servers. Mm -hmm. Yep. The, this is a place to visit when you're here in Vegas. Oh yeah, for sure. The prices are really reasonable. Right. And yeah. do not be put off that it's inside Circus Circus. No. Because this restaurant stands alone. It's for really sure. the hidden gem. It is. There you go. Yeah. It's a hidden gem. Mm -hmm. Right, we have any shout outs? We do, we do. We have Wee Chang, happy birthday. Nicole, Caitlin, Colleen, happy birthday. Susie, happy birthday. Thank you, Ellie and Angie from Lesta, UK, for watching. Steve, Christine, Jack, Malia, Ethan, and Connor, thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. Mm -hmm. uh, last night we saw Cole and Alan in the Cal. Yes, so we thank did. you for coming to say hi and um all of the servers and all of the people yes. here at the restaurant and Thank we you. ran up to two youtube vloggers we here did. the midlife ride uh -huh. and and las vegas and beyond yes check them out yes i'll put a link to their channels in the description below yeah they have great las vegas content as well they do they do all right well thanks everybody for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one bye